Grace Meyer. I'm Helen Ritchie. And this is Purchase Late Now. Woo! Woo! This week in Dirtbags Who Run Our Country, Vice President Mike Pence and his wife Karen attended the an Indi Indianapolis Colts game on Sunday, only to walk out in protest after players took a knee for the national anthem. Even Chris Jenner looked at this publicity stunt and was like, holy shit. <laughs> Pence even tweeted a picture of him and the misses at the game, but anyone with a brain soon realized the picture Pence tweeted was from a different Colts game three years ago. God, Republicans really aren't good at anything, huh? Protests. Graphic design. Mm, boycotts. <laughs> empathizing with others. Right, and uh, remember when Trump looked straight into the eclipse? Man, it's like they're like, it's like they're unfit to run our country or something, you know? It's weird. Wait, oh no, they are really good at one thing, um, taking trips with taxpayer dollars. Nice. Be it for personal reasons or bouts of political theater, Republicans have mastered making you upset over this great nation of ours. Much like buying tampons, this administration is really good at making you spend money and then feel irrational anger at the same time. <laughs> In other news, Harvey Weinstein lost his job this week after a New York Times expose was written about multiple accusations of sexual misconduct made against him. For those of you who don't know Harvey Weinstein, he is the co-founder of Miramax, producer behind multiple Tarantino films, and is also the real-life villain from The Great Mouse Detective. <laughs> <laughs> Following his termination, every white man who's ever said that Pulp F Fiction is the greatest film ever made gave the woman closest to him a lecture about separating art from the artist. Some of his accusers, or one of his accusers, excuse me, claimed that Weinstein masturbated in front of her. Which is ironic, because that's what all of his favorite men do when stuff blows up in his movies. Mm -hmm. Explosions. <laughs> <laughs> Beauty company Dove came under fire this week after releasing an ad where they depicted a black woman taking off her brown shirt, morphing into a white woman wearing a white shirt. Uh, I, for one, as the resident woman of color of this show, uh, you know, when I come home at night, there's nothing I want more than to literally shed my ethnically ambiguous skin and become so pale that I get a sunburn from the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Now, don't get us wrong, we think the ad is racist as fuck, but we came up with a solution. Uh, Aww. Uh, we are all sad about it. <laughs> Finally, McDonald's released a limited, uh, a limited edition, edition Szechuan sauce for fans of the cartoon your unemployed <laughs> nephew won't stop talking about, Rick and Morty. <laughs> However, after experiencing a shortage of product at a Los Angeles location, chaos ensued and someone was stabbed. I know. <laughs> but remember guys, it takes like a really high IQ to understand Rick and Morty, so... <laughs> That's right, there are so many different multiverses in that show that only smart people can get it. But like, it's also important to remember that it's in this multiverse where chicken nugget dipping sauce is forcing people to go to the hospital. <laughs> but it's not because they're eating McDonald's. <laughs> we have a great show for you tonight! Woo! Woo! Our guest is student ambassador Tyrone Hodges. Woo David Peterman is here to do stand up. Woo and Loader Spring is our musical guest. Woo Thanks for coming out tonight. I'm Thoughts. I'm Prayers. See you in a second. <laughs> <laughs> 